Chapter 852 Fighting Sichu Luasha The entire arena was already wrecked beyond repair. The sheared mountaintop was crisscrossed with fissures that were several miles long and hundreds of feet deep. If it wasn't for the Azura Divine Kingdom's array formation supporting the entire area, then this place would have long collapsed into the ground. Ruined meat, blood, and bits of organs were scattered all over the place. There were some corpses that weren't even taken away because of how miserable their deaths had been. The entire arena was filled with the strong acrid smell of blood. However, the shaft of Lin Meng's spear was not stained with blood and his clothes didn't even have the slightest bit of damage. His white clothes were as clean as fresh snow. He fluttered high and proud above the arena, his clothes waving in the wind and his hair flying in the air. His expression was light and breezy, as if he wasn't even worried about this life or death battle. With his handsome, jade-like looks and his leisurely manner, he was extraordinary and refined, like an immortal cavalier exiled from the heavens. Within the seamless heaven and earth, the ethereal and elegant Lin Ming stood high above a bloody arena that resembled an azure slaughter field. This sharp contrast made one feel as if the scene was unreal, as if all this death before him had nothing to do with him at all. Time slowly passed. Soon, half an hour had passed and the Azura Divine Kingdom still hadn't set anyone out to battle. All of the martial artists were impatiently waiting. What's going on? Is the Azura Divine Kingdom admitting defeat? Many martial artists couldn't help but think this. The Azura Divine Kingdom's background was truly powerful. In a single breath they had sent out twenty slaughter puppets. No one dared to look down on the Azura Divine Kingdom's war strength. But now it seemed that Lin Ming was even stronger. It's time. Go to battle. Si Chu Hashin nodded at Si Chu Luasha. Even if he was worried that Si Chu Luasha would fall here, he still had to send him to fight. After all, Si Chiao's life was far more precious than Si Chu Luasha's. Be careful. If you cannot defeat him then retreat. As long as you are alive then I can protect you. Si Chu Hashin said to Si Chu Luasha with a true essence sound transmission. Your majesty, rest assured that I shall definitely defeat Lin Lanjian. I will not disappoint your graciousness. Hearing that Si Chu Hashin would guarantee his life, Si Chu Luasha was grateful. But, he would not retreat. This battle was one he had to win. We've already been waiting half an hour. How interesting. Si Chu Hashin is delaying time in order to break down Lin Lanjian's momentum. On the Great Jade ship, the White Clan's fairy Snow Gale saw Si Chu Luasha step into the arena and faintly smiled. This is the same as acknowledging that everything he did before this was in vain. Lin Lanjian's hidden ability is too great. Si Chu Hashin has really eaten it this time. When a strong opponent fell, it would carve a sense of intention into victor's bones, a faith that they would win, creating a sort of invisible energy field that would drive them to victory. This would cause a martial artist to fight even more vigorously. Si Chu Hashin obviously feared this. Old man good fortune laughed. Si Chu Hashin is so careful, but how useful will it be to waste this time to break down Lin Lanjian's momentum? The accumulated faith that the martial artist gathered in himself would stay for a few days. It certainly wouldn't be broken in just half an hour. The most that Sichu Hashin did was diminish some of the momentum Lin Ming gathered, but he hadn't broken it. Under the attention of all, Sichu Luasha finally grasped his spear and fell down from the Gutspeed boat. He fell into the mountain ring, distantly facing Lin Ming. It's Sichu Luasha. Sichu Luasha is finally fighting. As the impatient martial artist saw the black-clothed Sichu Luasha slowly fly into the arena stage, all of their eyes turned wide as they locked onto him. I thought that the Azura Divine Kingdom would still send out some suicide troops to wear down Lin Lanji and some more. But I never imagined they would directly send out Sichu Luasha. Does this mean that the Azura Divine Kingdom still has hidden powerhouses it hasn't used? How could there be so many hidden powerhouses? Ten years ago, Sichu Luasha was already ranked in the top 15 of the Destiny Degree. Now his ranking is 12 and no one still knows just how strong he is. I hear he is already nearing the Divine Sea Realm. He should already be the Azura Divine Kingdom's strongest life destruction martial artist. A battle between top masters could always make one's blood boil with excitement. Especially this battle between the mysterious peak-ranked Destiny Decree masters Sichu Luasha and Lin Lanjian. Si Chu Luasha's strength was an unknown variable, but so was Lin Ming's. Those with a discerning eye could see that he had never put his full force forth in any of the previous battles. There were likely many concept and laws and martial skills that he hadn't used, unknown against the unknown. This was truly a battle that filled with heart with anticipation. Everyone wanted to know just what the limits of their strength were. Hualala, a pair of massive black wings unfolded from behind Si Chu Luasha, keeping him suspended in the air. It wasn't strange for a martial artist to have a pair of treasure wings. Even Kortmancer had his own pair. But, Si Chu Luasha's pair of wings was different. It was not a treasure that had been refined, but a true part of Sichu Luasha's body. These were wings of flesh and blood. Without a doubt, Sichu Luasha had the bloodline of another species in his blood. It was probable that this even included a special bloodline seal ability. Lin Ming, with my peak sixth stage life destruction cultivation, even if I emerge victorious against you, it is not a win for my martial path, but I will not hold back. In this battle I will kill you with everything I have. As Sichu Luasha spoke, several thousand crimson red blood drinking seals suddenly flew out from his body. Then, a scene that startled Lin Ming occurred. These blood-drinking seals completely immersed into Sichu Luasha's black wings. The blood-drinking seal tightly pasted themselves onto the feathers, causing the black wings to instantly become red like blood. This combat method. Lin Ming sucked in a breath of cold air. Without a doubt this was a stylistic cultivation method that Sichu Luasha had devised from the great desolate halberd art. He was the same as Lin Ming, a martial arts grandmaster who was stepping onto the path of creating his own set of martial arts. No matter how good others' cultivation methods were, they were still others. They might not suit someone else. For instance, Sichu Luasha. By combining his special bloodline characteristics with the great desolate halberd art, 
he could display an absolutely stronger combat effectiveness. Truly worthy of being one of the Destiny Decree's peak rank chosen prides of heaven. Although Lin Ming's current talent far surpassed the standard of the Sky Spill Continent, he still wouldn't underestimate the powerhouses of this world. This was because they were characters that stood out from a trillion or even hundreds of trillions of lives. Ding. A great bell that stood above the sheared off mountaintop rang out once again, resounding through the dimensional realm. The fight had officially started. Si Chu Luasha acted first. Without any hesitation he grasped his long spear and turned into a black beam of light that shot forwards. His speed surpassed imagination. Countless spear shades filled the air, creating a brilliant tapestry that blinded the eyes. You want to compare speed? Lin Ming's lips curved up in a smile. What he feared the least was comparing speed. Or, it was more accurate to say that he didn't fear comparing in any aspect. Whether it was physical strength, endurance, will, or anything else, it was enough to make his opponents vomit blood in frustration. Without opening the gate of wonder, Lin Ming only used golden rock shattering the void to create a series of phantom shadows in the air. The red spear in his hands wove through the universe, completely meeting all of Sichu Luasha's spear shades together, pang 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 pang, like a crashing wave on a breaking shore. The entire mountain arena reinforced by the Azure Divine Kingdom's array formation began to violently tremble. Spear wind savagely hewed off massive chunks of stone before crushing them into powder. Clouds of broken rocks and dust began to rush into the clear skies. A black and red energy were like two flood dragons violently clashing in the desert, twisting around and staring down at the world with contempt. What speed? I can't even see clearly. All of the heroic young elites present had already retreated ten miles out. With their sight, watching this battle from ten miles away was no problem at all. However, they simply couldn't make out Lin Ming and Sichu Luasha's movements. Their speed was just too fast. It wasn't just them, but even the famed elders of the various sects were blind as to what was happening. All they saw was a storm of black and red light weaving together in the skies. But as for the exact happenings, none of them were able to distinguish anything in that battle of extreme speed, it seems like. They are evenly matched. An elder from a fifth grade sect said with uncertainty, maybe. Another fifth grade sect's highest elder echoed. He was also a destiny decree master and yet he wasn't able to see just who had the upper hand so far. This was truly a disgraceful matter for him. Bang. See to Luasha's two wings spread out. His blood red wings seemed as if they were carved from pure ruby. After the blood drinking seals were fused into them they had become incomparably sharp, able to cut down several spear lights by themselves. A faint red light shot across the skies like a rainbow. Six blood red feathers quietly separated from behind Sichu Luasha, circling around Lin Ming and aiming at his limbs, back, and head, before shooting out together. Meanwhile, Sichu Luasha stabbed his spear at Lin Ming's donchen. He's fast. An excited light flashed through Lin Ming's pupils. If he didn't open the gate of wonder then just by using golden rock shattering the void. His movements were even slightly slower than Sichu Luasha's. This was already enough to start a Lin Ming. It seemed as if Sichu Luasha's special bloodline ability was also connected with extremely fast movement. Bang! A red long spear swept out, drawing the full moon completely around him. The blazing spear light completely blocked all of Sichu Luasha's attacks. Kaka. The two collided for the first time. A fierce storm of true essence suddenly stirred up, causing raging true essence to fill the air. The array formation that held together the mountain seemed unable to bear this, and a crack several hundred miles long appeared within it. To Lin Ming and Sichu Luasha. This arena was only a boundary. The true battlefield was in the sky. Bang bang bang. Thunder flashed. Space trembled. Lin Ming took his donchen as the center and released a dazzling purple light. This was the glory of thunder. Wild and stormy thunder condensed, forming substantialized purple scales all over Lin Ming's body. Section by section, they covered his entire body. Arcs of electricity flashed from these scales formed from the power of thunder, deeply piercing into Lin Ming's aku points, connecting him to the tyrannical power of thunder around him. The power of life. Thunder battle form. This was one of the most famed techniques of the Eightfall Thunder Emperor, using thunder as the power of life and changing the body, stimulating it to produce a greater strength. This was a type of supportive martial skill. In order to use it, one had to have a thorough understanding of the laws that formed its foundation. Otherwise, recklessly using this technique would not stimulate their life potential but would instead damage their organs and meridians. As the martial artists present saw Lin Ming's entire body began to be covered with purple scales, they didn't sense anything unusual. But the several divine sea powerhouses, especially the Forsaken God Clan's elders and patriarch Shai Bai, were actually dumbfounded. This was really the thunder battle form. This was a unique skill that the Eightfall Thunder Emperor had once relied on to walk the world unrivaled. Although the complete jade slip inheritance had been left in the Forsaken God Clan, no one had been able to successfully practice it. 